Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and merciful. Today I'm here to talk about the Ibn Ghadir and Imamat. With this, I would like to wish all the Shia Muslim people around the world Eid Ghadir Mubarak. And I would also like to thank Maulana Muhammad Raza Qibla for giving me such a great opportunity to talk about the event. The main point of Ghadir is the Vilayat of Imam Ali alayhi salam and obviously the Imams after him up until our 12th Imam al hujja Ajlallahu Ta'ala Farajak. So the topic I chose is the promised Savior who is none other but the 12th Imam in the Ghadir Sermon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent a hujja, a leader to every land. He did not deprive any land and any era without a leader. And he sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam as the last Prophet. And after him, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam announced Imam Ali alayhi salam as his successor and the Imams from his progeny as hujja with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this era, we have our leader, our savior, the 12th Imam Al-Mahdi ajallahu ta'ala farjak. As mentioned in the Quran, Surah Irad verse 7, there is a guide for every people. His successorship was announced by the Prophet in Ghadir sermon long even before he was born. There are many traditions from our Imams that prove the arrival of Imam Mahdi from the Holy Quran. He is called Al-Mahdi which translates to the guided one because the greatest Prophet has declared his appearances as even if a single day remains for the day of judgment, Allah will send a man from my Ahl al-Bayt. He filled the earth with justice, just as it filled with tyranny. The greatest prophet has said, the time which refers to the one who rises is from my progency. His name is my name. His appearance is like my appearance. His behavior is like my behavior. He'll establish among the people my practice and my norms, and he will call them towards the book of his Lord, the high and the mighty. The one who obeys him has obeyed me, and the one who denies his ghaiba has denied me. Not just it, but in fact, there are 22 sentences in the Ghadir sermon about the 12th Imam Ta'ala Farajak mentioned by Prophet The Prophet in his first sentence says that, O people, the divine light from Allah, the exalted one, and the sublime flows through me, then through Ali, then in the progency that descends from him, Al-Qa'im Al-Mahdi Ajallahu Ta'ala Farjik. He also mentioned that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is your master and lord. The next to him is his messenger and prophet who is now addressing you that after me Ali is your master and I'm Imam according to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then 12 Imams from among his progeny, his offspring till the day you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger and that's the Imams after Imam Ali alayhi salam and the trustees of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over his creations the rulers on earth in this sermon that is mentioned that Imam al-Asra jallahu ta'ala farjik is a seal of Imams Khatimul Awliya. The Prophet didn't leave people in the dark after him. He explained what to expect in future. He spoke about Imam Mahdi Ta'ala and his missions. The twelfth Imam in his revolution goes back to Ghadir. Ghadir is actually about the revolution, the movement to establish justice, fairness, equality, human rights on earth which will know will be done at the hands of our weighted savior, Imam Al Hujja Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajak. The Prophet in the sermon says that the 12th Imam shall implement the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will take back every right that belongs to the Ahl al-Bayt. So we deeply pray that Jannat al-Bakhi gets reconstructed. So let's all pray for the reappearance of Imam Mahdi ajallahu ta'ala farjak. May Allah hasten his reappearances. Ilahi ameen.